Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to do is change the DHCP um, setup on this Unix instance and changing it so it's a, um, a static IP address. So what I'm essentially doing is starting straight from the, from startup, from COP. Um, once it wires up, If I open up the terminal, I'll quickly show the current setup. So, login in as root. Make this a little bit bigger. If I do a ping to Google just on the IP address, I get an IMCP package back. So, we know that ping or layer 3 is essentially working. If I go into google.com, type in some random search, you'll be able to see that DHCP is working, uh, uh, DNS is working. So looking at the current IP address at the moment, I have 192.168.112.150 on the ENS33 interface. And you can see there's no network setup in the UI. I've done it all in the command um, side. If I look at the adapter on my VM, I'm natting um, with the current setup. So going into the interfaces, you can see the ENS33 is DHCP as a current setup. If I look at uh, the current uh, default gateway, or the current gateway that's been used with DHCP is 192.168.112.2. So that's quite important to use because we'll need to explicitly highlight that. So with this interface, you can see that they both match. So popping back to ECT network interfaces, again, we'll leverage off this interface, changing the DHCP side. With that, if I look at the current devices on my VM, I can see that I have a loopback as well as the ENS33. So obviously this may be different for yourself. You need to check that out. Um, but that's the primary interface that I'm using on this virtual instance. So what I'm gonna do is copy over the static interface. You'll notice the top two lines currently set up is pretty much identical. The only difference obviously is the DHCP and the static comparison. And so with that, I have the address and I have the gateway. The gateway was the one that we currently sh saw within the uh, previous command. Uh, and obviously with the IP address, it's already, I just picked a random one based on that subnet that was currently available. So, performing a restart and then a status all seems to start up as expected uh, if I put in minus C the 192.168.1.123 is the one that's currently available which is currently set so one thing to note at the address and gateway are the mandatory aspects the others are not are optional we can see that um, the interface is now accepted on the IP. One thing to note is that you need to test IMCP to make sure the IP address is going outbound. But it's probably also worth noting the DNS side as well. So if I go to Google, do a curl command, you can see I can connect uh, to yahoo.com. Probably one thing to note is just do a restart, make sure that that is set, it's static, and it it's persistent. Again, just do a quick startup. Go 
going to activities, going to terminal or CMD in this case. Uh, if I do the command, I'm able to see it's, it's currently set. And it's still, you may say, IMZP call back out. So yeah, pretty simple, but yeah, a couple of things to consider. I hope that works for you guys.